Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I hope you all are doing great. In this session, we will be discussing about top 12 skill set which is currently required in biotech, pharma and life sciences. So if you are a student or you're a young researcher who are planning to come to the industry or maybe academia or pharma, then this session will be significant for you. So let's start the session. The agenda of this session will include, we are going to discuss what are the skill set that is currently required in the current job sector and how we can upskill these things. As we all know, biotech, pharma and biopharmaceutical has huge scope and application in diverse sectors such as therapeutics, agriculture sector, food technology, bioimaging, sensor, drug development and so on. And during COVID-19, you all have seen how diagnostic vaccine development has taken place for SARS-CoV-2 during this COVID-19 time. And biotech, bio IT, biopharma, pharma industry have played a wonderful role globally during this challenging period. So without any doubt, biotech, bio IT, pharma, biopharmaceutical has huge scope and they always require skilled manpower. So based on the current job sector, what are the top skill sets which they are looking for? Without any doubt, first will be your experimental expertise. Most of these biotech, pharma and biopharmaceutical industry, they require interdisciplinary kind of team who have experimental expertise. They should know the basic biology, basic subject, along with the experimental expertise. So you should have balance between the understanding of your subject and also practical experience for performing the experiment, for troubleshooting the experiment and for running the project independently. Along with your experimental expertise, another significant skill set which is required is our innovative approach. Being a scientist, whether you are in academia, industry or R&D sector, at multiple stages we are required to develop new product with better application and cost effectiveness. Sometimes you have to develop new grant, new project. So this one is really very important skill set which will be required. Maybe like suppose you can develop a smart sensor or paper-based diagnostic on minimum or non-invasive diagnostic and sensing kits. So depending on our ideas, our innovative approach, we can develop multiple products and multiple projects. So these kind of people will always be required. The another skill set which is required is the ability to do troubleshooting of your experiments and do the problem solving along with the analytical things. Because most of the experiments related to biopharmaceutical and biotech will require to solve complex molecular networking and problems. So how much you understand your subject in experiments and in that way, whether you are able to do the troubleshooting if some experiments are not working, how you can solve those experimentals, how you can analyze your data. So your problem solving and troubleshooting approach along with your analytical skill set will be required to perform those kind of complex experiment and to analyze those kind of data for your different projects. Thereafter, the other skill set which is required is networking and collaboration. Being a scientist, that too in a digital and global period, we have to like work in diverse projects which require interdisciplinary teams from different world, maybe national collaboration, international collaboration will be required because these kind of projects require interdisciplinary teams and sometimes maybe your lab doesn't have those skills so you can collaborate with different group, maybe from your country or maybe from different country also. So in a current time, networking and collaboration will be very significant for doing research and for coming to this sector. As we are in a time of data revolution and big data biology, so being a biologist, being a pharmist also, you also require to enhance your skills in computation sciences and data analysis because many of your projects will require to deal with these data 
and we are in a time of big data biology omics era so at pharmaceutical level at diagnostic therapeutic vaccines related uh, project we have to deal with this kind of amount of data so now in a current time enhancing our skills in computational science in data in bioinformatics in omic technology is really required so enhance your skill sets in these sector so the another skill set which is required is the statistical analysis and statistical understanding as we have discussed we are in a time of data revolution big data biology which is required in your pharmaceutical biotech and biopharmaceutical for your various experiments and vaccine development drug development drug designing projects cloning and so on so you have to deal with a lot of data when you have to deal with data at multiple project and multiple experimental set what data is relevant for you and what is not you have to differentiate by few analysis and for that purpose we should know statistic also so industry will require those people who understand biology data and statistic the another skill set which industry look for is our ability to work and perform in team as we have mentioned in our past tutorial related to biotech bio it drug designing that most of these biotech sector bio it pharma sector always require interdisciplinary teams and people from biology bioinformatics data chemistry and another sectors so many a time you will find different people so are you able to perform in different diverse teams or no so that will matters a lot so our skills in performing teamwork will be very important the industry is not only looking for skilled scientists in term of experiments and analysis but they are also looking for those kind of scientists who have understanding about the subject along with additional skill set who can lead the team who can run the project so your skills in leadership will be also required if you want to come to this kind of sector the another skill set which the organizations these days look is your ability of emotional intelligent how well you understand people how well you understand the team and how well you can perform the task based on that and lastly the another skill set which they require is you are ability to communicate in a scientific community and sector especially in biotech and pharma many a time we have to publish our research projects and research work and we have to deliver these presentation in different workshop webinars and meetings also so our ability to communicate with different people different team members will be required I hope you have liked this session and this information will help you in finding the suitable job and enhancing your CVs and skill set. If you have liked this session and kindly request you to like, subscribe and share these information among your student and scientific friend. Thank you so much.